Hey guys, hi YouTube. So this is going to be a video very different from what I usually do and it's like a phone review um, because I'm just in love with my phone. I got this as a birthday gift from a special person so it's a special phone to me and that's one of the reasons I love it of course but um, I've had so many different types of phones. Um, never really a big one like this but I, yeah, I didn't really like them because of my fingers. Like, I feel like uncomfortable when I'm typing sometimes. So I've always been looking for fun about this size. So I'm on Boost Mobile right now, paying $55 a month for unlimited everything. Unlimited um, talk, text, and web. That's an amazing deal because I was with Verizon and Verizon and T-Mobile for a while, and they just overcharge me all the time. Every month, my bill will be so high and different. So I got fed up because I'm a student on a budget. I don't really have that kind of money to be paying a phone bill like that, especially when I don't even talk that much on the phone. I text more than I talk. So I just basically moved to Boost Mobile and I love it. The reception is great. Um, they have a shrinkage thing where if you pay your bill every three months, you, you know, your bill gets lower. Um, so that's one benefit of joining. There is um, The other thing I like is it's very simple. Like you get the phone, you activate it and that's pretty much it. You move your phone number if you want to. It's just, I, I love it. I know people said that Boost Mobile is horrible because I love it. So the phone I'm going to talk about today is called the LG Venice. This is the phone I love. It's lightweight. I swear, this thing is so light. Um, and the screen is wide enough because before I had the smaller screens and I had to look like this to try to, you know, see. Yeah, it was just a really small screens that I've had before. This is a huge enough for me. When I hold it, I actually feel like I can look at stuff and not feel like my hands are just overtaking because my hands are like basketball hands. Um, it, the battery life is not good. Um, I would say like a good five hours if you're not on the internet, just playing music. If you're on the internet, maybe four hours. I don't know. It's, I don't like the battery life. I think it could be a little longer, but that's fine. Um, what else on the outside here? When you get it, you get one gigabyte of memory, which is awesome because I was able to add like almost 300 songs on it before I... It started filling up. So that's definitely a good thing. One of the things I like is the main screen where you can set up a password to lock your uh, lock it so that if it was to get lost or somebody found it, they were not able to get into it without the password. So that's definitely a plus. I like how the button here feels when you when you press it. I don't know, it feels really soft. Um, I know those little things matter to me for some reason. The button here is a power button that right there um, so let me log in and I can try to go into it so when you log in you come to the main screen here and at the top you have the weather there and this weather you can actually zoom into when you click it um, and then here you have things that are like apps but they're really the main menu so they're just easy to find and you can scroll through them um, so that's definitely a plus for me because I can move around the screen without having to look for stuff under menu and go back. So it is like, it's an Android phone, definitely. Um, I like that you can pull down the screen here, also at the top, to kind of get an update of what's going on. Like when you get a text message and you get a new email or this, you want to change some settings on here without having to go to, um, you know, the screen here you can just pull them down so it's just like a little mini shade that you pull up and down so that's one thing I love because I get updates up there um, the voicemail when somebody leaves your voicemail it actually types the whole thing out so if he says hey this is Liz he will say hey this is Liz I'm leaving you a message it says that out so sometimes you can just read a message without having to listen to it so I really enjoy that the music play is awesome. I mean, how, 300 songs, I am happy. And this works like a, a flash drive or a drive for keeping your stuff into because all I do is plug it in with the plug here and I easily see all my files and everything. So I can just drag and pull things into it. It's almost like a, just like a computer, a mini computer. Um, so yeah, I add my files, I add my pictures. I took all my pictures like from Facebook or whatever, I added them on here. So I have a little gallery here. Uh, let's see, gallery, gallery, where are you? 
And the gallery is cute because you can change the image that you want for the different uh, apps on the screen. You can change the image. I put my own picture there. Isn't that cool? So my gallery, yay, let's look through. It's like an iPhone. You can flip. Um, here's my picture. Pictures of me, pictures of me, pictures of me, pictures of me. Pictures, pictures, pictures. Pictures, pictures. I have to show you guys my pictures. I love pictures, but I don't really, I have so many pictures of me. <laughs> Whee! You see there are pictures of me. I love myself, huh? Just kidding. Okay. So there it is. Oh, yeah. I have a picture of my honey in here, too. Yeah, I was going to try to steal that in there. Let's see. There he is. Yeah, he's going to kill me that I showed you guys that. But anyway. So that's one thing I like. The gallery loads up so many pictures. The camera is here. So I had the thing where you can flip the screen to see you as you're recording, whatever. I forgot the iPhone has it where you can see yourself as you're filming, whatever. So it has that. The camera, the quality is not as good as I would love it to be. The iPhone has a way better um, camera, uh, a camcorder or whatever. Uh, the camera on here is not as good. Um, I mean, the camera itself is good, but recording a video is not as good. I actually tested out a video today, and it wasn't good. So I don't like that about it. Um, that's one thing. That's a negative about this phone. Um, let's see. What else do I love? I like that when you text, when you text, um, it shows the person is color-coded, so you know who what came in and what you sent out. I like that because the other phones I had, it's all the same color. And sometimes I would reply things that are were mine that I sent and it was just a total mess. Okay. I'm not a good reviewer, you guys. I'm just doing my best. Bear with me. Um, okay. What else on this phone? How much time do I have there? And even below here, You can customize what you want on it. And then when you get a new email, I like that because I like to check my email every so often, getting all the messages you guys send me on YouTube. So, yeah, I'm here. Okay. The Internet, you have three options. You could use um, Internet Explorer, Mozilla, or you can use Chrome. So you have that option. It has a, ma a navigator system. Um, Let's see what else. The alarm clock is there, which is awesome. And you can have, um, put any kind of music you want on there for your um, wake up call in the morning. Another thing I love that I forgot you guys is any song you have on here, you can pretty much set it as a ringtone. That is a plus because sometimes in some phones and some providers, you have to, you have to buy the ringtones. And that is freaking annoying. And I hated that because I don't like to pay what, 99 cents per song, whatever. Hell no. Okay. Let's see, what else am I missing? The voice recorder is awesome for class. I, I use it. Um, okay, let's see the apps. Maybe I can give you guys more on there. Let's see. The newsstand. I like newsstand because I get to read the news before I go to bed. So people that have all the recent phones, they're like, this is nothing new. I have this already on my phone. So please ignore this video. This is not for you. But people out there who have old phones like mine and hated it, um, this is a perfect phone. Um, oh, another thing is when you email like documents, like if you have a Word document, you can easily open them and on your phone. So I, I attached um, a study guide to myself on this phone, and I was able to study as so I can I can open my Word document files on here and just look through them. So that was really good. I enjoyed that because I get to have my study guide on the go. Um, what else? I don't know what else I can say about it. Maybe if you guys have questions, you can ask me. Because um, I'm trying to figure out what I can show you here. Um, so much here. Okay, you guys. I don't see anything else I could talk about here. But just to say that I love this phone, and I think I'm going to have it for a while if I don't lose it. 
it's an amazing LG Venice. I mean, you know, it's nothing new, but, and I paid, um, well, I got it for a gift. So I don't know how much they paid, but I'm so appreciative of this. Uh, you guys don't even know. Anyway, so that was, that was my little message review on the LG Venus uh, on Boost Mobile. I hope you guys like this video and um, ask me any questions you have. I'll see you guys.